It's time for Seriously, Let's Play. All right, so before we get this all started up, I just want to make sure everybody understands the rules of the game. Uh, for the most part, I know I have two veteran players and who have played at least some Palladium games. It's been yep. some time, but I remember most of it. All right. Yeah, ditto. And then I also have two new players. Yep. The essentials, really quickly, uh, for the system, for our listeners, and just also for us... In combat, it is a D20 system. Five and higher hits you. Your base AC is a five. Other things can augment that, uh, such as armor changes a value. Anything below the armor's value, up to a five, misses you. Five to whatever the armor value hits the armor. Uh, anything over that armor value goes directly to your SDC and your hit points. SDC standing for structural damage capacity. And if we don't have armor, then five is our... Yes. This is a system not unlike uh, if you've ever heard of another podcast out there called Champions Cast, where you're going to be rolling D20 versus D20. D20 for the attacker, D20 for the defender. Defender gets one parry that is free. It doesn't cost anything to parry the first attack. Any other attacks after that parry costs a, uh, one of your later attack actions or one of your earlier attack actions. It can quickly add up. The ones for later are dodges. So you're also using different values. The first one is your parry. All the others are going to be dodge. Make sense so far? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. That is pretty much how combat rolls. Uh, there will be on your character sheet, you'll see where it says uh, APM. Mm -hmm. That's the attacks per melee. And that is how many attacks that you have. Uh, everybody at least should have two. Okay. Uh, and then different characters are going to have even more than that. So, uh... The king has three. Nice. <laughs> yep. <laughs> the, the knight has five. <gasps> okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm this, a big turtle. I have two. Yeah. Yeah, I only have two. Yeah. <laughs> this is a game beyond just the combat. It really becomes about getting the initiative. Yep. So you want to outrun and outpace your enemies so that you can get your attacks in earlier. How do we, um... Figure initiative, or is it already on here? Initiative is going to be a D20. Okay. And then there, some of you all have initiative bonuses. Some of you do not. I do not. Yeah. Good to know. Everybody here at the table, you've all also heard snippet that I mm -hmm. made to lead in for what this game is. Mm -hmm. So yep. you should understand to some extent what your roles are. To go over for our listeners, so we have our Rook. Starting off, everybody is going to be riding you into combat. Woohoo. So you're going to get everyone <laughs> up to speed. We're going to get into that a little bit further beyond that. Okay. The knight, your job is attack and defense. You have the greatest ability to attack and, and defend out of anyone yeah. in your team. King, you're kind of a backup for anything else, but you're also the only person that can score. Both of you two are kind of the more punchy, military-esque characters. Yeah. While the other characters, the rook is our skills-heavy character, and the bishop is our detection-heavy character. So everybody kind of has their own role going into this. Beyond that, now I'm going to explain, we're doing our own version of this, where I created the mechanics in this, and you are essentially playtesting this. It might never be played again after this game unless our <laughs> listeners want to do it or somebody at this table decides they want to do it again. Okay. But so here is what I'm going to do. Your speed is augmented by your SDC. Okay? Okay. Your base speed coming into this game, essentially, as you, as the, as the rocket sled that everybody is riding, you get everybody up to 60 miles per hour. Okay. And then you start trading in SDC to start going even faster. Okay. All right? And that is off of your armor value at the bottom, the mm -hmm. SDC for that. I'm going to say, just, you know, based on the way I've kind of set things up, it's pretty common for you to go ahead and dedicate for every round of combat or for, or for every round around the track mm -hmm. for a t chance to score. You're usually spending about 100 SDC to get everyone up to speed. Okay. When you all jump off of him, he has expended all that SDC to get you all up to that speed. You can then spend, for the bishop, you can then spend SDC to go even faster to go out in front of the team. Essentially, SDC is about structural damage. It is the glancing blows. It is what your character is capable of taking and stressing upon your body. 
the faster you're going, the greater chance is that you're going to wreck, that you're going to get hurt, or all, th all these other things. So I'm basically treating this as if your SDC is becoming less the faster you go. Does that make sense? I yeah. don't have any SDC on the bishop. Yes, you do. Oh, it's up there. Okay, I was looking at it down here. Yeah. yeah. You That's just don't have any armor. Okay, yeah. cool. It's Essentially, like your skin and the hit points is your insides. Okay, cool. Yeah. Here's the other side of that coin is that I'm also going to say that when you take damage, that also comes off your speed. So if you take damage, if you take some SDC damage, that's going to knock your speed down. So SDC is speed. Yeah, essentially. And I'm, I'm okay. using it as almost fuel. If you okay. need to refuel, hop on the person in the back and they can refuel you with a little bit of their SDC. Okay. That is, he is your so refueling. Hence the refueling you are concept. the refueling station. Gotcha. So you have the highest SDC. Yeah, I've got 750. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's more. That's more than double mine. I'm also going to go ahead and give an extra knowledge of mechanic, and that is that you take no damage from falls. Nice. Ooh. Okay. All right. That will play into the way this game runs. But other than that, that means that it would probably be a really good idea for somebody to have a whiteboard so that they can track, you know, how much SDC Who people are spending. Oh, okay. So, so does the SDC, especially for me, reset between rounds? It will, yes. Okay. Nice. So you can be a little reckless and spend it, and then the next round starts the SDC. Yeah. Okay, cool. So SDC is not any protection? It is, it is both your protection and yeah, going to figure into your speed, essentially. Oh, okay. So uh, your protection goes down the more, the faster you go. Yeah. And can we expend for speed as well? Yes. So everybody can. Everybody so, can, just certain people can expend more. So when you exit from me, you're going to be going 160. If I spend, my base speed is 60. If I spend another 100 SDC. So we ride there, you till maximum speed. To maximum speed, then you guys exit. Yeah, so you to swarm off goal. at 160, and then if you want to go faster, you can just start juicing it up yep. from your own. Does this make sense? Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, it's I cool. Think so. All right. So Papa and I are just like, yeah, we'll yeah. get it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm better at learning hands on. Yeah. But I think I understand. Okay. Well, no problem. Beyond that, we are going to uh, take a quick break here and we will start back up and enter directly into the game. I will be asking y'all to describe your character, how you envision them, what you, they look like, and your names, things of that nature. The base uh, information is there. Everybody has a little bit of a backstory already on the character sheet, but you get to fill in a little bit of those blanks. All right? Okay. This is Cyberball. A team gladiatorial sport, Future, played by humanoid cybernetic stars on wheels, popular with every person in the mega city. From the children who practice their moves in the street, to the high-rise penthouses in the corporate elite who pit their teams against each other. Deep in the shadows, on the forgotten subterranean roads and streets under centuries of history and rubble of previous civilizations, illegal cyberball teams compete in blood sport betting it all in a sacred battle for honor and the other team's winnings, while a few corporate lackeys watch to feed their fix on chrome-covered carnage. Each four-person team needs a rook, a bishop, a knight, and a king. The rook is the team's rampart and refuel station, often resembling a cross between a tank and a heavily armored turtle. These monolithic competitors are slow, but steady and nigh indestructible providing the team with a mobile sentient bulwark. The bishop is the team's fastest member. Sleek and barely armored, they speed ahead of their team to recover the steel ball, returning to the pack to only turn their trophy over to their king. The knight is the team's heaviest hitter and best fighter. Designed primarily for combat, they are armored and weaponized warriors, playing both attacker and defender for their comrades in arms. The king is usually the team's captain, and while not as armored as a rook, as fast as a bishop, or as capable in combat as a knight, they are better in each skill than the other members. A jack of all trades. The king is also the only member of the team who can score points with the steel ball. The rules of the game are simple, but elegant. Two teams converge on a track, building speed, often using their rook as a sled, until it has maximized its speed. The team leaps off and the bishops speed ahead to retrieve the steel ball. 
the rest of the team called a pack, now engage in a deadly dance as kings and knights square off, fighting and dodging around the rooks, while the two bishops pursue, attack, and dodge for ownership of the ball. As the teams near the scoring goal, the bishop returns to pass off the steel ball to their kings. The melee escalates as a king battles to score by striking the scoring goal with the ball. The ball is left behind and the teams arrive at a jump, a two-story ramp that causes the teams to slow to their initial speeds. After the jump, the process starts over and over until a team scores three points. The only other rules include no ranged weapons, no throwing the ball forward to teammates, and a team that loses its king can no longer score. Now you know the game. Now meet the team. Well, hello and welcome back to Seriously, Let's Play. And today we are kicking off our new season of Cyber-esque Adventures. Today we're going to be playing Heroes Unlimited. I know, kind of a weird one to be bringing into this genre, but it actually fits. And we're using it for a very specific reason. But before we get into all that, I want to go ahead and introduce my table to you today. We have Steven. Greetings. We have Sean. Hello. We have Roxy. Hello. And we have joining us today, we have Jens. Hello. And I did say that, right? Jens. Jens, sorry. I, I always heard you say I, it. It can be Jens. That's oh, fine. Yeah. <laughs> I go by both. There we so go. That's okay. He answers to it, so. Okay. <laughs> so, essentially, uh, at this point, as the listener, you have had the opportunity to hear what kind of game we are going to be running for this. And this is going to be a cyberball adventure with no uh symbology or you know no metaphor of any other sort of you game out there or i was gonna say are you trying to are you trying to symbolism? find a word yes it's I not am really a symbolism a you know it's not analog you know we're not doing a complete uh, we're not ripping them off. rip off yeah, yeah there you go <laughs> that's what you're looking for was rip off yeah not at all not at all no this is its own thing i promise this is cyberball this is cyberball and not it's nothing like roller derby either or yeah or any yeah. of those other <laughs> any of those other balls that people talk about it's sports ball yeah yes future sports ball there we go well I think it's important at this point. Let's go ahead and go around the table and introduce your characters. Alrighty. So who wants to start this off? All right, I'll uh, I'll go. Uh, my character is the knight. Uh, his name is Torin Siddick. His Coliseum name is Onyx. He nice. is a 28 year old cyborg man, very on the lighter side, kind of. Um, he like not heavily armored, but still quite durable because he's mostly robot. Uh, he is of slightly average height, has messy black hair, and just kind of a look on his face that says that he's annoyed most of the time, probably. But that, you don't know, that could just be his face. Resting annoyed face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who else would like to go? So I am Victor Rock. I am the team's mobile fortress. I go by the name Barricade when I'm on the track. 24 years old. I have a very plastic look to my body. I don't have a lot of metallic outward looking cybernetics. I do have a purple mohawk. Nice. And I am 24 years old and I'm on the more slender side when I'm outside of my mobile battle station. And I am Connor the General. I am flashy. <laughs> I wear sunglasses. I wear things that make me shine and make me look like a king. Nice. nice. Like this guy's the king when he walks into the room. You know that he's the general. So uh, he's about six foot, closely shaved head. Looks more like a military style general, but with sunglasses. Like probably really flashy colored sunglasses. Uh, square face. Got your Yeezy, your Yeezy glasses. Muscular, maybe really shiny, polished. Nice. Nice. The face of the team. That's right. And then I am Benji Bancroft. My arena name is Mercury, and I am in the position of a bishop. Grew up uh, on the streets, making my own way, stealing things here and there. Got caught and offered a chance to become more. And so I'm here, and I have half a shaved head. The other side it hangs long with different colors in it. Looks almost like dreads a little bit. 
even though my name is Benji, I am I am Fem. So, you know, I'm kind of, I guess, androgynous more than anything. And as far as my outfit goes, I am built for speed, not for, not for taking a lot of uh, hits. So it's very ergonomic, uh, maybe some metal, but also just very much a, a skin suit, plastic skin suit, and uh, how I can do. So we are going to go ahead and start off our adventure now. Your team gathers together in a large docking elevator. You arrive and board together with essentially the team's owner, Mr. Herzog. And he is very elegantly dressed, a white and tan suit, a royal blue tie, and has you know the, just the air of power and prestige that comes from being part of the upper echelons in what is called Mega City 13. The doors slowly close in front of you and you begin the long descent down to the track. After about 100 feet, the elevator kind of opens up and you can see what was once parts of the ancient city sprawling out before you. And you continue to descend. It feels like you are going down for forever, but you see layer upon layer upon layer of city that was once here that basically the city has just built on top of. Abandoned roads, ever so often maybe you'll see some movement. Uh, Is it a person? Is it a thing? You're not really sure. It is dark beyond the glass, the plexiglass that contains this elevator. Mr. Herzog tells you, Today you are up against Tadashi's team, the Furies. Blitzsaber, Gumball, and Valkyrie. It, you are familiar with these names. They are about on par with each and every one of you. Uh, kind of have a similar reputation. But this is the illegal cyberball track that you are going down to. All of you are part of a team that this is where money can really be made. You make even more money in the Pro League. But this is select you are essentially well taken care of by your corporate owner for the team. They pay for your suits, they pay for your upgrades, they pay to maintain you. And I don't want to say that they own you, but you definitely owe them. All right. So as you're descending, eventually you begin to reach that point where you see what is the track now laid out before you. The blasted remains of an ancient city windows shattered the exteriors of buildings ripped away and all you see are like the concrete skeletons of all these buildings but there is an illuminated track that you see angles and streets that are partially highways partially regular roads everything that you could imagine and those are illuminated but you just see it kind of spread out before you and come back around in almost this large loop but obviously there's falls and everything else to it The doors open up, and there's a walkway in front of you. Opposite, on the far side, coming down from a different elevator, you see the other individual and his team. And they all kind of square off looking at you. Um, by, uh, so we've heard of these people. Yes. Uh, By looking at them, can I tell which player plays which role? Definitely. Okay. And you, you're aware. Have we played them before? You probably have not played them before. Okay. This is a semi, sometimes lethal game. And a lot of times people who do not fare well don't make it to the next level. That's the best way to put it. You might be killed. Your body might be destroyed to such a point that you cannot continue. And your owner will find some other use for you, maybe. Or they could just leave you down here. Or do we have a streak coming into this game? Yeah. More than likely y'all have had a few wins. Okay. And it's Herzog's hope that he will get some experience under all of your belts and get you into the big leagues. That would be his ultimate goal. All right. Would we have apprehension coming to this thinking we're better or that this is something we... You sure hope you're better. Uh, And honestly... If we're on a winning streak, we probably have... We're already on a pro league. Yeah. This isn't the ultimate league. Essentially, this isn't like the... This isn't the up and up Majors. Yeah. Think of it as as the minors, where if the cops found found out about it, you'd be in trouble. Oh, okay. Got it. It's like the XFL. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) 
It's the indoor football league. Is everybody aware of my character's background and the owner in my relationship? No. Okay, that so that's is, That is up to you whether or not you want to reveal okay. that or not. Now, is your... he aware that I am? Yes. Okay. In fact, that's how you ended up in this position. Okay. Secrets. Real quick, uh, Roxy, what was your character's stage name again? Mercury. I shine like So we're, we're squared up against them right now, kind of doing yeah. the face-off? Yeah, kind of doing the face-off. Yeah, I've got to make use of this time. So I will do some cracking of the knuckles and crossing my arms over, staring at them. Give, yeah, given give the eye. Yeah. Just thinking. Nodding up and down and being obnoxious and acting like a prima donna in front of these guys. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <Yeah. laughs> oh, the other team, and you're guessing this would be the leader, a woman with a sword. Is this and, Valkyrie? Yes. <laughs> kind of traditional armor, strides forward, lifts the sword aloft, and screams. Oh. I'll lower my sunglasses and wink at her. <laughs> Herzog. Ben- Benji jumps a little bit. Yeah. The scream takes him off guard. Herzog looks back at you and nods and says, I'll be watching. Essentially to your left and to the other team's right, two doors open up. And lavish rooms are inside. And Mr. Herzog walks into one. And Mr. Tadashi walks into the other. The door closes. And a pathway illuminates down to your right, leading towards the track. They, of course, begin making their descent on their so way. So we probably wait for them to go first. They, uh, you both enter at different points. Yeah, I yeah, know. Yeah. But we wouldn't stop to stand off until they did. Nah. Yeah, yeah that makes <laughs> sense. It's a power move. It's a power move. The first one to move on their team. Come into my house. Uh, <laughs> you would guess is their rook. Large guy covered in graffiti, very colorful in appearance, almost tie-dye like. Is this Gumball? Uh, Yeah, this would be Gumball. Gumball. And of course, throwing off the rest of the teams, you know, kind of mojo. They're this. They're like, come on! And they all chase him down the path. Nice, nice. Then I guess so. We'll start now that they're on their move. We'll start walking to our own starting point in a more dignified and uniformed team way. Yeah, that's right. Heads held high. It is... uh, Try not to trip. The pathway going down is cleared, and it is nice and smooth. You arrive at the track, and it is ancient streets. Debris, and... I mean, it's obvious why this is a dangerous track. You're starting off on essentially a half of a six-lane highway. And so you got room to spread out, or obviously mount up on your rook. So... I'm going to get into my tank and start firing up the systems, making sure everything's good. You guys can arrange yourselves how you want to on top. Are there like handholds or yes. something? Are you actually driving a vehicle? Yep. yep. It's a mobile platform, basically. So you're not, you're not the nope. mobile platform? Okay. No, I'm not the mobile platform. So I'm, I'm inside now, interfacing. Okay. Um, it's like you a... You are like a tank driver. Yep. Then. Giant yeah. domed shape vehicle with treads, no, def- you know, no offensive weapons whatsoever. So are we rolling next to this, holding or, on? There are handholds on top of yeah, it? Yeah, there are handholds and footholds on the side that basically you climb on. Uh, think like... Uh, like uh, garbage truck guys? Garbage yeah. trucks, yeah. Uh, yeah. Fire, <laughs> firemen, however firemen. you want to really think okay. about it. Yeah. Yeah. Both very essential. They are. Parts every of, every day our... society. <laughs> I've almost pictured it like the, the king would be riding almost directly on top and you guys would be more on yeah, the side so I you feel, can get off easier. I yeah. feel like I'm on the right side. So I feel that in my soul. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Is there a I'm king a... position on there? Yeah, I, I think on our, for our team, the king position, since you're so flashy, yeah, you'd like... want to be seen so you're like on top. Maybe not holding onto reins, but kind of in the, you know, the classic superhero crouch, sure. three-pointer. Yeah. Ready to take off. He could be like Loki Superhero when he's pose. riding the Chitauri in yeah. the Avengers movie. Yeah, exactly. I wouldn't even be surprised if your character like decorated it. Probably. Looks like a chariot. <laughs> <laughs> nice. There is the, the sound side. of a loud horn heard throughout, I mean, the entire stadium. And a series of lights light up. You see the classic five levels of red lights as if you are at a racetrack. And so everybody mounts up, kind of braces yourself, and you watch as another light in uh, white color begins to descend. And it passes slowly, each one of those red lights. And then uh, after passing that last red light, it passes a yellow light, 
and then it hits that green. And your rook takes off and begins to quickly make his way up to that 60 miles per hour maximum uh, speed that it, this system is capable of doing. Just remember to, to start goosing it just yep. a little bit about the second light, just like in Mario Kart. Yeah. So you can get that speed boost right at the... <laughs> <laughs> right at three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't right spin out. Don't, Don't spin start out. too yeah. soon. <laughs> awesome. You take off, and this is the point where you begin to trade in your SDC. Yep. Okay. I am, so. I'm going to go ahead and trade in 100, so we're going to go up to 160, unless we want to go a little faster. But I think since we don't know the track yet and the hazards on it, that's going to be yeah, oh, that's good. a more moderate speed. All right. Okay. All right. You see the point up ahead coming, uh, and you're goosing it up to 160, and you see lights coming from the other direction. You know that's going to be the other team, and you're, both of your groups are going to come out on two separate ramps and join at the highway. Okay. And after a few seconds, you see them, you hear them yelling and shouting, you know, basically, you know, we're going to take you down. You hear that scream from the Valkyrie as well. Say it, yeah. don't spray it. I'm just going to be pointing, <laughs> pointing at the team, watching them. <laughs> I'm going to be pepping my team up. This is our game. All right. I'm gonna, this I'm gonna is our to, time. <laughs> I'm going to make eye contact <laughs> with, with uh, Saber mm -hmm. and just kind of like mark, mark my target with them and just make sure that they know. <laughs> Saber. I cast Hunter's Mark on Saber on the, on the other side. <laughs> Saber holds up his sword in a French-style salute in front of him. The light blazes onto his sword, and he nods back at it. Okay. I don't reveal any of my weapons, because I feel like that's a bad move, because I don't want them to know what I have. And your teams come out. There's a little bit of a jump right as you merge, your ramp's coming onto the highway, and you're all together. Uh, the other team begins, parts of them begin to disembark. You see that the, uh, the Valkyrie starts shouting orders, and says, Saber, focus on their king. And uh, at the same time tells Blitz, take off. Go get the ball. And you see Blitz Can begin to see speed the ball? Up. Is the ball there already? Not yet. It will be up ahead uh, some distance. You does have a few launched? rounds until you get there. Okay, does it get oh, launched? It is going to be stationary in the middle of the road. Uh -huh. Is there a rook about our speed? Are they pulling ahead? Are, they ne right are we neck moment, and neck? You're neck and neck okay. on this round. They're trying to get a good feel for your team, and it, it's pretty standard. You get the feeling on that first round that everybody Kinda starts reserved. off this way. Yeah. Okay. But so you see Saber begin to make his way towards uh, Barricade. And at the same time, you see what appears to be their bishop hop off and immediately begin to spend uh, their power to go up ahead of everyone. Uh, they are going to spend an initial 60 SDC to speed off in front of the group. Can uh, we communicate while we're yeah. like while you're in the tank? I'm sure, I'm sure we have radios. We we're even if even if the general and uh, Onyx disembark. I'm gonna. Can you push me ahead? Can you give I me another? Gonna, boost? I was gonna say. Why don't I spend another 50? Okay. That'll get us up to 210. That way you don't have to bleed off as much of yours. Yeah, of and then, yours. I can, then I can douse yep. a little. Yep. Just be sure to record it. Yep, yeah, I am. I am. So I'm going down to 600, and our speed is going to be 210. Okay. All right, so uh, Saber is approaching uh, Barricade. Yeah. All right. And so uh, Sword is blazing to life. You get the idea that this is definitely a uh, laser-edged weapon. Mm -hmm. And more than likely, they're making the move to try and reduce his SDC to keep, the, uh, keep you guys from refueling and also slow them down. Okay. Uh, so are we, have we initiated like... Yeah, yeah we're going to go ahead and we're going to start up with some initiative. Nice. Right. How's that sound? Sounds great. It's a D20 roll? Yep. Yep. <laughs> Three. <laughs> Do you have anything to add to it? No. Okay, I got a 16. I got 24. Ooh. Nice. So let's go around the table really we, quick. We uh, do have initiative bonuses here. Yeah. So 19. Barricade, you've got how much? Three. Uh, three with... Uh, he does not I don't have any initiative bonus. No but initiative bonus? Uh -uh. Yeah. So you're starting off at a three. Onyx. 
I got 24. 24, nice. Uh, the general. 19. Nice. 19 and Mercury. 16. 16. All right. So uh, starting off is going to be the general. You're going to have the opportunity to act first with what all is happening. What are you going to do? Wait. Is he... he uh uh, the general. Oh, sorry. No, you're 24. Yeah. Yes, thank you. I was okay. saying, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Patrick. Wow, y'all are actually going to get two actions then. Uh, Onyx and the general are going to be a- able to act before they do. Nice. <laughs> Take them out. So I see Saber pull Just out, pull out his big gaudy sword and, and light it up all nice. Mm-hmm. And uh, I am going to take this opportunity. I, I, pr- I assume now that since he's sped up to 210, that he is behind us and approaching us from behind, or. He is going to be approaching you from behind, and he's having to spend yeah. to get caught up. All right. Well, I am going to... Uh, How much was it that you spent extra? It was 50? 50. So we're up to 210 for our speed. All right. Just writing all this down really quick. Yep. Okay. So Saber is speeding up to catch up. Uh, but before that can happen... Uh, yeah, so Onyx, what are you going to do? I am going to jump off of the back of Barricade and use uh, a jump kick to attack Saber. All right. So uh, jump kick is a special ability. I want to make sure that everybody understands. Jump kick does more damage as an initial attack, but it also, uh, when you do this attack, it will be the only attack you'll able, you're going to be able to do this round because you are okay. dedicating yourself to that one attack. All right. Is that all right? Yeah. Uh, okay. So, with uh, t- attacks, mm-hmm. with the APM. Yeah. You I have five around. You'll be able to use the rest for parries. Okay. But you're essentially going to be using that one attack right off the bat, and then it'll move on in initiative. Okay. So that's just that's just as many actions I can take yeah. per turn. Okay. So that's not necessarily attacks. Yeah. But actions. Yeah. Not so much parries, but dodges. You'll dodges, be able to use the yeah. other four for dodges. Okay. Uh, got it. Awesome. So, yeah, I will use my attack for this turn to jump kick. Okay. So, uh, they are going to try and parry. So, this is going to be player. Uh, this is going to be a roll off. Okay. I rolled a nine. You rolled a nine plus, though. Uh, uh, you're going to look at your strike. So, nine plus seven, so 16. 16. Hey, that's actually. Do we have visual on the ball yet? Yeah, that, that is right. Uh, I think, he's, I think uh, he said it would take three rounds are, before we see the ball. Yeah, it's going to be three rounds before you see the ball. You will be able to strike. You have beaten them. They will not be able to parry. Awesome. So, so how much damage are you going to do? 6d6 six six plus 20. And then I will use oh, yeah. my uh, poison's poison ability All right. uh, along with that. All right. They're going to go ahead and roll versus poison if it does because it did hit. Mm-hmm. So they will not be poisoned. Okay, but they will take. See, that is 10, 15, 16, 17, 21 plus 20. So 41 damage to their SDC. All right. Nice. You watch as essentially leaping off of the back of your rook, just uh, your knight just takes off kick out, and I, you oh, want yeah. to do a specific so, way so to kick. Yeah, it is uh, the way it works, it, the way it's going to look is, uh, he's going, this guy's behind us, so I jump off, I do a flip, and I essentially am doing an axe kick down on him, and then when my uh, leg hits him, uh, my wheel is essentially spinning and digging in to his body. Nice. All right. Great hit. And then and then I, you know, bounce off of him, land on the track yeah. with, with ease and grace. So Saber, <laughs> as well as taking that damage to their SDC, like I said, this also knocks them back. So he is being knocked back 41, uh, essentially took, 41 feet. Nice. They, they took 100 points of ego damage. Yeah. yeah. And so he is just a little bit ahead of where his rook was, where gun, Gumball was, where he was trying to speed up to catch up to you. That, so that was a great move, guys. Now he's got to spend more SDC to get up to speed. Yes, okay, so the loss exactly. of SDC is going to lower yep. their speed, too. Yes. Yeah. Perfect. And then uh, when, I, when I land, I'm essentially driving in reverse mm-hmm. to keep an eye on all of them. Okay. That's awesome. So that was Onyx to start off with because it was a jump kick. You don't get any more attacks this round. Yeah. And we are going to be going on with uh, the general. 
General's gonna slide down off the top. Kind of this nice, like, uh, position slide where he slides <laughs> gracefully down the back. It's like a little Starsky and Hutch. Now, I, to, I'm gonna try to position myself. I'm not going for attack. I'm gonna try to get in the front. Mm -hmm. So I can get in a position where I can get the ball when it's available. Okay. And get it from Mercury. Yep. So I'm sure she's going to speed up. And that's probably going to take a little bit of extra SDC All right. to push myself in front. Yeah, maybe 10 or something. Okay. Just to put myself... So just be sure to record it on the board. I got it. There we go. What's your total SDC? 350. And what's yours, Pappen? Uh, 400. So are we that close... And that fast to where we can get off an attack right away on these guys. Uh, right this moment, yes. I mean, so we're you. Well, you would have to, you would have to choose to fall back to attack these guys, but you, uh, you would have to, uh, you could get off an attack on their bishop, Blitz, because Blitz is just a little bit ahead of y'all. So, uh, yeah, uh, I'm not gonna attack. No attacks this round, but just get my speed a little, even more, a little more, fa so, a little faster. So you're gonna have to remind me not to speed up because I don't want to plow into you. Well, I don't think I'm gonna, I'm not gonna ride directly in front of you. Okay. I'll kind of come off to the right. Okay, cool, perfect. I just want to be in a good position to get the ball. Agree. I know I yeah. need that. To go I just didn't want to accelerate and just <laughs> take out our king. Yeah. Uh, hopefully that wouldn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully we could see each other a little bit. All right. Valkyrie, uh, oh, well, sorry, we're going to start off with uh, Saber. At this point, Saber is just uh, not very happy, and he falls back and actually grabs back a hold of Gumball and climbs up on the side of him uh, in order to refuel his SDC. So there is that benefit there. He's basically, uh, looks like he's out for this uh, turn around the track. Nice. Good. But Valkyrie will uh, order Gumball to go forward and uh, speed up to catch up to you. So that will lower their SDC on him. And Saber will be trading in a little bit. Not that it'll matter. And Valkyrie will then uh, leap off to try and attack Onyx. So she is going to kick off and try to punch you uh, with a common weapon that is seen a lot on the tracks, and that is retractable blades that pop out of her arms. All right, and I will attempt to parry her. Okay. All right. So Did it come out the sides of her. We're looking at yeah. We're looking at twenty-one. Okay. Uh, I rolled a twenty-three. Twenty-three. You parry her attack. Nice. So. She comes at me with her retractable blades. When it gets, like, just almost where it's about to hit me, I pop my retractable blades out and just smack her arm away and nice. just go, like, yeah, I got it, too. Ching. I got it, too, and I'm better. And then I put my blades back. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start hollering. You guys got nothing. She is going to uh, try for a couple more attacks. These attacks you will have to dodge if you want to uh, avoid them. Yes, I will. So attempt to dodge. <laughs> I will do all the dodging. So right. we're gonna put in. She only has two more attacks. So uh, she. This is gonna be a miss automatic for her. Okay. And one more attack. Uh, and that is gonna be an eighteen. All right. And I rolled a uh, twenty-six. Twenty-six. Nice. Yeah. She uh, misses it's and you dodge. Nothing. Yeah. And you only had to spend one action to do that, so you technically still have two actions available for future dodges in this round. Yes. All yes. right. So we now move on to Mercury. You right. are able to speed ahead if yeah. you wish. I'm going to go ahead and spend... Hmm, I'm going to go kind of conservatively. I'm going to spend uh, 25. So it puts you up to 230, 235 miles Yeah, an hour. I'm at 235 now. All right. Um, so that should put me ahead of the general and well ahead of Barricade and hopefully everybody else. And I'm just speeding ahead, looking for anything that I might need to warn the people behind me about All right. on which, the road. Which methodology of... Uh, essentially, you have three different ways of looking ahead. You have a headlamp, which is a 
large light that radiates yeah, from you. a light beam yeah okay so that creates a large area in front of you but that doesn't give you maximum distance sure maximum is going to be your infrared mm -hmm. and that will allow you to see up to 600 feet i believe in front of you 600 feet in front of me and it's a but it's a seven foot wide yeah it's only seven feet wide of vision that you were able to see that far out yeah. ahead so it, it, it really works well, but only for you and anything that is directly behind you. Yeah. So which of those three methods are you And then I have do? a motion detector, Yes, too, you do have motion detector, I'm but gonna, it's... I'm going to, for now, so I can't use both at the same time. No. I guess that makes sense. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just use my light beam for now. Okay. Because we're all still pretty clustered together. It's not until... Yeah. Now, the other downside to light beam is that you are also illuminating the track for the other, for the other team. For the other team. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. So if I did infrared vision, I'd just have to scan? Yeah. Uh, but you, it's essentially that everybody else is going to line up behind you and your team. Because they, they don't want to risk there being a piece of debris off to the side or something else. Can they see me do the infrared? Yeah, uh, that and you can radio back to them. Everybody does have radios. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But not, not the other team. No. I mean, they can't hear. Okay, cool. Yeah. Then, yeah, I'll go ahead. For now, I think I'll keep to light beam. And okay. not give away that I have the... Keep us posted, Mercury. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Aye, aye, General. So that is Mercury. So you said that uh, Perry is free, right? Perry so is free. I don't, I don't use an action to use that? Uh, yeah, you don't use okay. an action at all for that. Okay, and if I only had to dodge one of those, I actually have three actions left this turn. Okay, there you go. Okay. So do I need to make a roll for that? Uh, not currently. Basically, okay. you're just spending SDC to get ahead. And right at this moment, uh, their, uh, their bishop was not caught up with you this round. They didn't spend enough SDC to catch up to you. Nice. Okay, cool. And I'm, I'm guessing as far as the rook goes, it's pretty massive. It's going to have to be a pretty substantial obstacle for it to yeah. slow me down, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. So finally, that is on to Barricade. Barricade, what are you going to do this round? Uh, I think I'm just going to keep keep to speed and keep going forward. Okay. Yeah, I mean, because I don't, I don't really have any uh, options for attacking. I can't bludgeon or anything like that. So, so is barricade? Is that machine automated, or does he have to I'm drive it to piloting? It, he has it has to, to pilot. be piloted. Yeah. it's not like there's no autopilot. Yeah, or, no, I'm not getting out. If I get out, they're just gonna. <laughs> He's okay. gonna be okay. a state. So you're yeah. actually you're driving yeah. it. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so does it just. Uh, question for so i can see it better uh mm -hmm. is what he's driving more like a vehicle or more like a mobile suit a uh, little bit of column a a little bit of column b okay. i mean it looks like a suit but it is essentially a vehicle okay. i mean it, it has like a huge turtle shell yeah, yeah it's a huge turtle shell and I'm, I'm picturing it with treads on the bottom like tank treads to okay. deal with but i kind of see him like laid in it yeah like the batmobile in that one yeah yeah, yeah, yeah where yeah, he kind of yeah. had yep. to go down into it that's right. like yeah. 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 Exactly. There you go. And I mean, and I mean, and there's nothing really I can do this turn, guys. I mean, I've got skills. They're not going to apply right now. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I think just, we're just racing. Yep. Yeah. Right now. Yep. All right. So I'm going to keep to speed. And I'm I'm right behind you, trying to like protect, keep everybody off my back. The tank. Yep. Okay. So next round, uh, and we're going to need to uh, re-roll initiative. Okay. Ooh. Oh, jeez. Okay. Hey, there's a box for that. 17 here. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead. Uh, barricade, where is your initiative starting off at? Yeah, it's two. All right, Onyx. <laughs> uh, my initiative is uh, 21. 21. General. 17. Uh, Mercury. Nine. Nine. I was under 10, too, so we're <laughs> good. Okay. I can't decide if I picture my character like just hunkered down with like thrusters pushing ahead or if I'm like doing the whole cross co or not the cross country. Speed skating. Speed skating. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like yeah. if I've got the swinging arm. <laughs> if I That's kind of how I picture my character going. To speed skating with the arm. Yeah. All right. But Blitz is somehow. <laughs> Blitz is going first and they will speed up now. So, but barricades, uh, SDC replenished, right? Uh, not until the uh, next, uh, not until we go back 
and this entire lap oh, starts the over. Lap. You'll, okay. I'll, I'll tell y'all when uh, cool. that happens. It's actually after a certain event called the drop. Okay, cool. No, that's mm. cool. So. Mm. Uh, the drop. It's the best part of the song. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so Blitz is going to speed up to come alongside of you and uh, will lash out <gasps> with a kick. So... We're going to roll against each other really quick okay. with a d20. And am I adding anything to uh, You are going to add your uh, parry or dodge, depending on what you want to do. Oh, ugh, ugh. Oh, well, I don't have... Oh, yeah, I do. I mean, they're either... Uh, ten. Ten. They uh, are going to strike you with a 14. Ooh. And so you are going to fall back. Uh, they. You are going to fall back about... Uh, 10 feet behind them, 10 SDC equivalent. Okay. Uh, and so they now are in the lead at this point of the race. Um, but I didn't take damage. You took SDC. Right, right, right. But yeah. I, I'm not hurt, hurt. Like, nah. nothing comes off my hit points. No. Okay, cool. Yeah, the e easiest way that they th they describe SDC is think of it as that glancing blow. It's I like, know, yeah, you, you've yeah. said that a few times. I, I just, I'm just yeah. making sure that my hit points are still... The bullet grazed, it didn't hurt you. The sword bounced off your armor sure. kind of thing. Okay. Yeah. Or in this case, it made you stumble a little bit. You lost your, your momentum and yeah. fell yeah. back. I'm going to take, take that, take that, take them out. All right. They are. Uh, so next after Blitz, are. though, is going to be Onyx. Okay, a uh, question about my laser-lined halberd. Mm -hmm. uh, it says it is operable for five rounds. Yes. Once you turn it on, you have five rounds to use it. Can can I turn it on, use it, and then turn it off until yes. I want to use it again? But you lose that one round, yeah. Okay. That's that's all I needed to know. I'm going to uh, pull out my laser-lined ha halberd, uh, pop it on, and I'm going for gumball. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to slash, like, I'm going to slow down, and just kind of, like, hold it out and get him on the side. All right. Nice. And if, so, I, if I hit them on the same side that Saber's on and hit them a little bit too, I'm not going to be mad about it. Yeah. <laughs> so It's the STC tank. Ooh. Ooh. So roll the 12. Hmm? They rolled a 12. They rolled a 12. I rolled significantly lower than that. Oh, no. Uh, where is the strike? Yeah, I rolled 11. That's not significantly Signific lower. That's not but significant. Yeah. All right. So your first attack misses them. Okay. Uh, th this Dude, is a weapon yeah. attack, though. You have the opportunity to continue attacking. As many as attacks as you want. Okay, uh, and can I switch my halberd off? And then... Yeah, uh, and now that you still oh. have the rest of this round, that that is still a point that you can use. Oh, okay. Well, uh, yeah, I'll use it. I'll try to use it again. Okay. Against Slashy him. slash. Yeah, and then... Uh, all right. Okay, right. that's better. Same. That's 21. Oh, definitely hits. Okay. Then that is 46... That is five, six, seven, nine plus forty-four, so that's fifty-three damage nice. uh, to his SDC. Um, and I'm going to attempt to poison him as well with that if that's okay. If I'm yeah. able, you poison. Nice. Woo. That is that All is right. the person I want now, to take out. Uh, first, so that's good. Every round, that's going to be coming off them. So go ahead yeah. and roll for this round. Oh, roll how many rounds that your yeah. poison is going to be active. So the poison is active for one round, and it will deal. Oh, that's a good number. Nine damage. Nine damage. All nice. right. Nice. Knocking him back. Uh. Okay, so I've done two attacks. So that's two actions that I've used this turn. Uh, I'm going to. I'm going to I'm going to say I'm good there. I'm going to I'm going to keep 3 so I can so I can dodge. Yeah. Nice. Gumball uh looks a little bit green in the gills. He's like, "I I don't feel so good." and throws up. Is and it as colored like his graffiti? No. But oh. it, it's a nice little pea soup green streak oh. that, you know, is now draining down his mouth and you know, kind of uh, like on the track down behind him. Yeah, I radioed everyone, "Hey, there's there's vomit on the track, the so watch out so you slick. don't spin out." That no. takes forever to wash out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, so that was Onyx. And then I, and then I turn off my smell sensors. <laughs> <laughs> and Val unfortunately, yeah, I can't unsee it. Splash guards lower. Valkyrie is going to uh, turn around to come and defend their comrade. So here come three attacks. 
All right, I'm going to try to parry the first one. All right. Uh, so we are looking at a 23. Okay, I rolled 20. All right. So I'm taking it. Yep. Uh, you're looking at uh, 25 points of damage off your SDC. Okay. So that is going to knock you back. She a- she actually is not going to attack you again because that she's like, <laughs> yeah. You're going to have to spend SDC to roll. catch up again. Yeah. Uh, and Saber is going to... Uh, well, actually, sorry. Before Saber, we have the general. So Saber is just behind you and is trying to catch up. Obviously has eyes on your rook. Well, I, I'm going to slam into him. <laughs> I'm not going to use a weapon or okay. a sword. I'm just going to use brute force to just drive myself. Okay. I want to try to knock him down. All right. Full on hockey body check. Right. Okay, so we're rolling uh, against each other. The twenties. Oh. Twenty on him. Oh. Get in the box here. Oh, not very good. Four. Oh. So he is going to parry that attack. So attacks per minute three. I could attempt again. Mm-hmm. Did you have? Does strike work with that? Yeah. Did you add your strike to that? I mean, I don't well, know. Well, what it's uh, whatever. It'll be your base strike plus the d20. Yeah, it's not enough. Okay. All right. So uh, she is... Let's see. That was a parry, so this is going to have to be a dodge. Oh, this would be more... Uh, if I just tried to slam into... It's a her, you said? Mm-hmm. This would probably be more like a trip. Okay. So... Sweep the leg. 20. Right. Uh, oh, actually, this is Saber, not Valkyrie. So saber, this is a man. Saber. Uh, 19. So you do uh, strike one, this one. One ahead. All right. So go ahead I'm and... I'm not sure how the trip damage would work or... Uh, is this is going to be the same as, like, a standard melee attack. We're going to go with that. Uh, it's going to knock them down, uh, whatever the SDC is. But go ahead and roll, uh, let's say, 2d6 and add whatever your damage is. 13. There you go. Nice. 13 and 9. 22. 22. 22. Okay, and let's see. Uh, did the attacks per melee have... Are they uh, used for parry and dodge or no? I can't yeah, remember. Uh, parry is always free. And then dodge is spent. Dodge is spent from those. So you need to hold over to use it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's that's pretty much where I'll stop. So I have an extra dodge right. if needed. So now uh, Saber is going to use uh, some SDC to catch back up. Let's see. How many... That was how many points of damage on the last attack? 22. 22. Oof. So that <laughs> takes them down to that. Saber's going to have to go get refueled. Yep. Again. Again. <laughs> what a nerd. <laughs> and so here we go. Saber is going to strike once. And this is going to be with their laser sword. Uh, uh, that, I think, is going to be like a 23. Ooh. And that is a one. Oh! All right. Ooh. Is one automatic fail? <laughs> well, it didn't parry. It didn't work. It this is not a... Uh, yeah. So we're looking at... Uh, that dice is no good. 27 like points of SDC. Okay. That they are going to hit you with. And so uh, they kind of strike you across the body with their sword you spin a little bit and you're further behind now Uh, we are on to uh, can I I use that last action to burst yeah Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and add 20 add 20 okay well actually whatever I lost 27 Mm -hmm. let's go ahead and do 30 so go down 30 just to get some how much did you take get ahead again I took uh, 25 so I'm at 375 Okay, yeah. I forgot to write down your That's all right. I'm, I'm writing it down on, on mine just to... Yeah, I was just... I forgot that I need to be ke- checking damage, too. Yeah. Okay. So, at this point, we are on to Mercury. Uh, I'm going to... So, she... Or, uh... Yeah. Blitz, blitz the head. Yeah. Right? Not too far well, ahead. Well, she knocked yeah. me back knocked a little you back. bit. back. So, I'm going to... About how far are we talking? Uh, if you, I think you're less than 20 to catch up to her. I'm going to go ahead and do 40. Okay. This breeze past. Why I want to push her out of the way. Okay. Or him or her or yeah. them. 
Then um, works well. So I'm going to do 40 to try to push out of the way. I mean, I really don't have a whole lot as far as... Can I just, like... Yeah, let's just see how it goes. So it's just a... Uh, D20 a, versus D20. All right. Uh, is you definitely beat them. 13? Yeah, you definitely beat them. Okay. So uh, this go ahead and roll a D6 and add whatever your base damage is. That's 12. 12? All right. So you just uh, bash them out of the way and fly past them. Sweet. And so you spent 40. You're, they're actually going to fall a total of 32 behind you. Yeah. Nice. nice. Dorks. And I'm still scanning, if that matters. But, right. I mean, I'm still trying you to keep an eye out. You see the uh, ball up ahead of you at this point. You nice. are going to be able to grab it next round. Nice. nice. If you can maintain initiative. I so. turn off my... Um, can I turn off my light beam? Yeah, absolutely. Turn off my light beam. If I spotted the ball and know where it is, I'm just going to beam for it. So we're fairly close, I would assume. Mm -hmm. uh, barricade. What are you doing? Yeah. So, at this point, Gumball... Every, every, the opposing team is w not way behind me, but significantly behind yes. me. Uh, Gumball and Valkyrie, at least. Yeah, yeah. Gumball and Valkyrie. Uh, Saber is a uh, ways back now. Okay. Uh, yeah. And then, uh, and then the king and our knight are knights back behind you as well. Yeah, right. Yeah. I'm Bishop. I'm a little bit behind Gumball. Okay. I, you know what? Then I'm going to keep keep at the steady speed. That way we can keep the SDC. Yeah, just going to keep on rolling. Then we're going to go ahead and roll initiative again. This round, you will be able to acquire the ball. Whoever oh. is whoever is in the lead. Oh, okay. no. I'm bad luck over here with oh, you. Oh, they're not doing well. So oh, do not good. feel bad. <laughs> good. Uh, let's go around again. Barricade. 12. 12. Woohoo. Woohoo. <laughs> Onyx. 14. We all rolled lower this time, except for you. You shit all. 10. Mercury. <laughs> oh, you it's have right. no initiative. G General, I spotted the ball. It's all right. You, uh, <laughs> it's 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 okay to bring up the rear because if they get it, you can just monkey jump on whoever has it and like bring them to, to I, the ground. Do I have monkey jump as a skill? Uh, sure. <laughs> you're 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 small, right? You're small. I have and athletic kick and razor fingernails, so let's do that. Okay. Razor fingernails. <laughs> get the eyes. <laughs> All right. Oh, so. I can girl fight with the best of them. Benji Bancroft <laughs> is not here to fool around. <laughs> not to be trifled with. So starting <laughs> off this round is actually Onyx. Oh, man. Yeah, they're, they rolled low as well. Okay. All right. <laughs> 14 uh, was our highest so, initiative. So I think maybe you should just save it in case they s scoot up on us, because, I mean, everybody's pretty far behind. Uh, I, I still kind of want... He wants to take out Bubble I, Gum. I want to. I want to hurt Gumball because okay. it, Gumball. like taking taking Gumball out. I keep calling him early Gumball on. Cripples brain. them in the long run. It, yeah, it can definitely. Okay, uh, yeah, go for it. So I, I still have my laser lined halberd for four more rounds, and I'm gonna con I'm gonna continue to use okay, it for this let's round. Go you pop it back on. Uh, I am going <laughs> to pop your bubble. <laughs> I'm I'm going to attack Gumball, Gumball with it. You don't like Gumball, do you? No. He's, he's too flashy. He's too obnoxious. <laughs> he, it's like it's you really have some... You probably Onyx. don't like the king very much either. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. See, he's trying to outflash the king, so we're going to take him down a notch. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so that is uh, for my strike. Uh, 20. All right, you hit. Cool. Uh, you poisoning again? Yes. Oh, I'm, uh, I, uh, go ahead and roll that poison, because it's going to carry over to this round. Okay. Uh... Yeah, because your last one was so only one So six. Six, six, six right. for the poison. There you go. Um, and then can I try to apply the poison again? Uh, or, yes, you can. Okay, I, I will. say yes. I will attempt that. Uh, but the Halbrid will do. Do it as we go, Joe. That is 9, 10, 12, plus 44 is uh, 56. All right. That is quite a bit. Let's see. Everybody get your splash shields up. Gumball's going to blow. All right. Poor Gumball in his vomiting. <laughs> <laughs> he is not looking good. We just saw it. it Chapter 2 on Saturday, oh, and there's nice. there's more than a few vomit scenes in that. I have yet to be able to see that. No one in my house wants to see it. Uh, we want to see it again, so if you want to hang oh with yeah, us. And then, I'm, and then I attempt the poison again Okay. Uh, if they have to roll against it. Is that yep. the adult? Yeah. Are they adults now? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they make it. Okay. Uh, I will t 
turn, turn the halberd off, and I can attack again because I use the halberd, right? Yeah. I'm going to attempt to, uh, so attacking them, I went forward, they fell back a little bit, so I'm going to turn around and jump up and use my retractable claw, go for the face. Okay. <gasps> face shot. Dang. That is, that is a low number that I don't, that's a lower number. Nice. Okay, so that yeah, is. That's all you the actually, they both rolled ones. On, uh, as long I, as you get above. Or did you roll a seven? I rolled, a, I rolled right? a six. Oh, okay. I thought that was a one. That's my bad. No, it's okay. So. But either way, that's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> this is a low rolling round. But the ball's been spotted. How, how did this group get in this tournament again? Yeah. We just, oh, but that that's that's low rolls. So that will be four uh, plus 23. So Our owner's looking for a new team. <laughs> yeah, Herzog's up there going. So to, uh, 27 damage, and then uh, if possible, I will try to apply my poison again. Okay, let's do it. Go for All it, right. yeah. Uh, sorry, that's yeah. right. I got to roll for them. Yeah, they are poisoned yet again. All right, so they will be poisoned for three rounds, and they will take two damage. Nice. Every little bit helps. It does. Uh, and then... They're almost so that at is, half their SDC. Yeah, that is two attacks. Uh, you know what? Leave nothing for the trip home. I'm gonna attack them with my claw again. Nice, do it. That's a that's a crit. I crit. I rolled a twenty and I crit from eighteen to twenty. Nice. All right. Uh, so what are your crit rules, John? Educate us. Oh, oh yeah, this boy. is straight out the this book. This is straight out of the book. The on book this is coming one. out, guys. I didn't. I did not expect to see a crit. Dun dun dun. So. You've never played games with Pappen. <laughs> Obviously, no. Yes. Actually, we have. We have played yeah. games with Pappen. Goodness, goodness. Uh, and the night's still young. Arms will be removed at some point, I'm sure. It probably yeah, will happen. Arm. Well, with this guy, I'm, go I'm going for his head. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Like, I've oh, kind if of. You can disable. Yeah, if you I've, take I've, his head off. I've kind of jumped, him, right? like, on top of him for that last one and went for his head with my claw, which I probably just, like, hit his. Big armor. Okay, so how I rolled. double the damage. Ooh. Okay, so I roll. I roll my three d six. Okay, so that is six. So seven. Seven plus twenty three is thirty one. So that'll be sixty two. Nice. This is all, all on gumball, right? It's all on gumball. All right, they have officially dropped below halfway on their SDC. Good. So, oh. I am sorry. You hit hit points. Right. Yeah, you went over their uh, their armor value of their suit. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, you actually do that directly to them. So I dig down. I w I got in there. Yeah, you went through their suit and hit the physical person inside of it. Okay. So yeah, I did. I jumped on. I jumped on top of the suit and I just went in on his head. Yeah. yeah. He's trying to take out. Uh, what? Gumball. If if they if I take out their refueling station, we. Yeah. When Gumball, <laughs> Gumball actually screams and begins to lose control and fall out of the race. Okay. Yeah, you actually went down to their personal SDC, threw it all, and into their hit points. Ooh. And he's probably squishy like I am, so... Yeah. yeah. I'm going to give you a shout-out at this point. Onyx! That's <laughs> nice. Onyx, Onyx, Onyx. Then I'm gonna, Onyx. Then I'm gonna kick off him. Um, expend however much SDC that I need to expend to catch back up with Barricade. Mm -hmm. uh, will that be an action? Uh, that will be an action. Okay, so that will leave me with one action left for this turn. All right. I, well, yep, I attacked so, three times and then did that. Yeah, you got as far as your STC damage goes you were mm -hmm. at 20 like 20 negative 25 yes. from where barricade left us so you'd need at least 25 to catch back up okay so that'll bring me down to 350 and uh would jumping back onto him to refuel be a that be, an would, be an action it would be then i will just catch up to him well or you I can jump on that. me and then i can use one of my actions to refuel can I? Well, Is that how that works? Or essentially, uh, the, he just has he to get to on. Jump. I don't know. Oh, okay. if, do you have an action left to get on him? I have one action left, but I'm going to save it in case I get attacked, so I can okay. parry and dodge. Okay, cool. All right. Because I just took out their guy, and I think they're going to be mad at me. A wee bit, maybe yeah. a wee bit angry. You see, uh, you begin to round this corner, and ahead you do see the uh, steel ball. That is your prize goal. Mm -hmm. All right, so at this point, uh, 
you notice that the rest of their team begins to fall back. Uh, you think that they're probably going to end up uh, forfeiting the match. <gasps> nice. Already? We haven't even got the ball. Yeah, but you're pretty sure Gumball is out of the race entirely. <laughs> yeah, I straight murked that guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they give That's you the That's our game. Ball. You make the curve and reach out with your hand and grab the steel ball. It's partially magnetized, so it just kind of zips right into your palm. Me? Yeah. Okay. And you're going to be able to fall back and pass it off to your king. Okay. Which I do. And I hold it as high in the air as possible. You uh, make that turn, and you're now coming back on the track on the other side. And you see off in the distance, uh, the you do anyway, you see your uh, your host, your owner of your team, Herzog, Herzog is standing inside of his uh, room, uh, basically his box, overlooking the sure. entire thing, and he is standing applauding the team. Nice. Boss is clapping, y'all. Boss is happy. Noise. <laughs> and you make your Can way I around. Can I see Tadashi in his? Uh, no. Oh. Uh oh. Blood sport. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Don't have eyes on. What no are, eyes on the enemy. What are uh, King? You basically the next round you're going to be able to just toss it. There's nobody trying to block you. You just got to toss the steel ball into roll the goal. Roll above four. Goal. Uh, yeah, you're just going to roll. <laughs> what did you roll? You rolled a three. Three plus. Okay. It wasn't pretty. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was like. <laughs> but you're throwing for you know the Pee Wee League the there. Little submariner. But little submariner ball. It's like you see you see that they're probably going to forfeit, so you're just like, eh, yeah, whatever. And ding, 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 ding. Yeah. it was not a swisher. Falls no. falls into the goal, and <laughs> let's yeah. You hear the horn over the entire auditorium. And it's at that point that you also see the room that Herzog is in explode. Fire and uh, smoke begin to billow out. Glass is flying everywhere. And you begin to also see this, uh, what appears to be various laser sights also in the distance. Had it, like on what? That's a really good question. And it's a question we're going to save for next episode. Next time dun, dun, on dun. Seriously <laughs> What? Let's play. All right, guys. Well, be sure to come back and find out what exactly is happening to our team. I'm so intrigued. Werner Herzog is dead. No. No. All right, guys. See you soon. Papa. And that will do it for us tonight on Seriously Let's Play. 